Hi friends, this is Mohammed Gibran and welcome to our C-Sharp tutorial series. Have you ever wanted to keep an eye on your friends, relatives, your siblings or your childrens? Like what they are doing on your system when you are not around, when they have access to your system, what they are watching, what they are using, what they are doing with your system. I hope most of you must have had this feeling because uh, even I ha used to have this when I was a kid. Even now I do that. Recently one of my client had the same problem and he approached me with this. And he wanted a solution where he can keep an eye on his colleagues what uh, they are doing when he is not around with his uh, system. So I came up with this uh, piece of uh, software which will definitely help him uh, get rid of uh, or just to keep an eye what others are doing on his uh, system when uh, he is not present. So what this uh, software will do is it will take uh, once you start this this will take screenshots of your system every second you can decide uh, in one second how many screenshots should it take I just said two screenshots per second so every second it's going to take two screen screenshot and it's going to store it in this location well um, as you might guess you can change this location whenever you want so you can see who is doing what you know who accessed your system and what they are doing you can just look onto this uh, thing or the pages the applications they are opening and you can see what they are doing so right now i just uh, show you that I'm in my D drive and my images folder which is right now empty uh, in a moment I'll just uh, run this application and uh, you can see there is a counter going on and uh, it's uh, started taking some uh, uh, screenshots you can come back to the images folder and you can see there is one folder named as caps and it's taking snaps you see it's going on increasing 68 and see it's taking two images per second so uh, imagine your friend is uh, going to your computer he's uh, viewing some files or he's going to the internet watching some uh, videos or uh, accessing some of your content files in your system or making some changes into your setting you can just have a look whatever what all he's doing and uh, uh, you can be aware or you can get you can get to know what all he is doing you can see um, we went into this drive and soon after that we went to chrome and we opened uh, google.com and his its page then we came back and see everything it's showing so this is how you can keep on track on your um, colleagues or your family members and uh, this window will not be visible to all this will be running in the background and if you want this application will also run as soon as you boot up your system so it will be an auto start type of program so nobody will even understand that someone is spying on them imagine you want to deploy this to your friend's computer and you wanted to see what he is doing maybe you wanted to know what he is um, planning or what he is talking with your, his friends and uh, what he is doing with his computer you can do that as well you just need to uh, get an access to his computer for a while just install this software and then you don't need to uh, get again the access to watch all these images again and again what I did is you can just um, I will allow this application to send all these images one by one to your email ID this was uh, the uh, major point because uh, my client um, even if he's not present he wanted to see what others are doing so as soon as uh, he anyone opens his computer this application will start running and it will take screenshots and it will send them to his email id and it will uh, the problem there will be one problem imagine uh, what if there is no internet so once there is no internet it will not send any 
uh, images it will just try to send it if it's not sent it will just stop it unless he's connected to the internet once he get connected to the internet he will send these files and uh, once a file is sent it will be deleted from the computer because you don't want all these junk files to be staying in the computer imagine if you deployed this into your friend's computer and if uh, these files are not deleted and you are taking snaps uh, every now and then so soon his uh, hard disk will be choked up and uh, if you don't find what's going on then he might format the entire computer so everything goes waste even these uh, images they are going to take his like around 14 MB of memory which is a lot of memory so we should be deleting all these files as soon as we send them so that we can take care of uh, memory and uh, no one uh, can also suspect that something suspicious is going on so uh, this was it about the application I made for one of my client uh, if you have any suggestions that I can do to this uh, uh, application please uh, do comment below and if you have any other idea uh, to make an application do let me know so that uh, I can try to make that as well so hope you liked it and thanks for watching